Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of basic to advanced t-shirt design and this one is going to be very advanced design as you can see here. So I will be using a tons of element here and this is going to be the text format this one. Now let me tell you first. So this is not how you can work for your client. So this is for print on demands only and also not for Amazon or exclusive sites like them so you can upload on any other print on demand sites and there are sometimes like client placed a order in your gig that is of five to ten dollar and he wants a real retail design now it is not possible for us to draw for ten dollar anything so that's when you can work like this but be careful you cannot you have to make a tons of modifications to this kind of designs so first step is as you can see here so this was the shirt that take my attention so some take drugs some drink bottles so this is the text or design i saw and then i thought to make it better so this is just a basic design anyone can do this so let's try to make it a better design so for making a design like this i had the idea i thought i will have a motorcycle graphic like this and this one is all is from freepik as you can see here so this is the sorry not that one this is the graphic you will find on freepik so i'm going to take that one maybe i will take some other stuffs like this for a biker design but that comes later so then i my idea was to make it look like a skeleton riding a motorcycle and that is the text it is saying here so for that i was searching like this let me show you the search terms so i was searching like skeleton vectors and i find this one really good so let me warn you this is from alame stock or any other stock site you can you cannot just take them and use in your design but in some cases where it is not really possible to draw everything here and of course in a lower price so that's when you can take this kind of designs and you have to tell your client that you didn't draw it you just com combine them so another part is this one i I am going to take this part of the hand from here and then I will take this skull from here. So this is going to be just a manipulation style design. So this is not for fiber or upwork selling. So let's start the process. So I am just I trace these designs or images in vector format. They are now in vector. So I need to I need to remove this part of the hand. So I am going to take my eraser tool just to erase this part now this is the way i wanted this to be so i only need this part from here and this is a pre-made graphic as you can see i just take it from a stock site so i cannot use it as it is right now so i thought to change the skull here so i am going to remove this part also of the skull that is good okay so i will take this one and this one i will combine them and this is another image i just keep it to show you how to trace so let's first go to silhouettes i'm going to make a silhouette and this is going to look like this because there was like let me show you there is some colors other than black so gray here darker shade of gray so that's what happens when you just click on silhouettes but we can fix that and for fixing that we need to click on this image trace panel and here in this image trans trace panel i am going to reduce the threshold amount and that is going to give me some more details to the skull something like that maybe a, even more so this is how i want it to be or maybe a little bit okay that much is looking good so that is fine that will work for us now let's expand it so this is how you can trace these images and make your own vector files so this is the main image part of the design so this is going to be as it is i can remove these wings but i thought to keep it or i will remove it later so i am not sure so now here is the first step i want this hand to be matched here so i am going to first of all unite that i'm going to make it red so that i can see what i am doing here i'm going to make it smaller in size so that it fits like it is holding the handle here of that bike so now it should be a even smaller in realistic look but i don't want that that much smaller it to be so something like this and in this position it is going to look good so here i am going to select this one then i am going to make a copy 
sorry not like that i'm pressing alt to drag it here and then control r to reflect so that is my shortcut for reflection now i'm going to select this one and then align it in the center position that will look like this maybe this one should be a bit left and when it is placed i'm going to make this to a group and then i can simply select these three and then align them in the center so that will place them exactly in the same same position like this so that is good so i'm going to first of all select this bike here open transparency make sure you are working with 100 percent black here and if your transparency is not working then you have to do it manually you have to make it bring it here so the value should be zero 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 so that's the rule here so i'm going to take my pencil tool and with black fill so this part of the hand this part of the handle of the bike should not be visible because this will be okay so not like that this will be under my hands or fingers so that is why i need to hide this part now i can simply keep this kind of a small details here or i can make it all feel but that's not the way it should be okay so sometime it goes a little outside of the area we want so let's erase it whatever is going outside of my area okay so this is how it is going to look right now and for this one okay i will fix that later so this is how it is going to be and this one also should hide but here in this part this handle should be on top of my hand so i will do that now i am going to select this one and then i am going to press ctrl a that will select everything from there let's make it a group and then let's bring it here in this direction and reflect again so i need to just select this to make this the key object to align it now i have to just adjust it here okay so as you can see i am working in a smaller area and that is making it hard to adjust so for fixing that i need to press ctrl k so ctrl k is the preference setting here so from his from here keyboard increment i'm going to make it one pixel click ok so that will move it slowly so as you can see now it is easier to fix so that part is done let's click here now i want to select this group this hands group open transparency and then from here i just need to hide this part of the hand just like this but make sure it is black here and that will work now for here i am going to use my pen tool so this handle should be on top of my hand so just draw a area like this simple and then click here i'm going to make it somewhere between in this area so that's fine so as you can see now it is looking like the hand is holding that grip so that's fine i'm going to select this two shape and then i'm going to bring it here in this side reflect it again and then of course i need to make it in same way so this much is good for me maybe like this so that is fine now don't worry about these overlapping areas those will not be visible when we will make the hand black so as you can see this is how it is fitting and that is good to go so that part is done let's group it together and now here i want to place my body of the skull here skeleton here so somewhere like this maybe a little bit down i am not sure so that is where it should be and then i am going to attach this skull on top of that body so it is going to give me a look like this so maybe a little smaller in size i am not sure how much how big it should be but it should be something where it looks realistic so that is fine now i'm going to select this skull selecting this body open transparency and then press ctrl f so ctrl f will place my skull exactly where it was then march unite to make it one single shape so as you can see this is how it is looking but you have to check here this is not showing 
hundred percent black and if i try to open this it is showing zero zero here that is fine but if it is not then you have to make sure that you are making it hundred percent black so that is good now everything here should be hundred percent black so for fixing that i'm going to use my magic one tool to click on this one and if you can see if i click on this one only this part is being selected not this part that means they are not in hundred percent black so i need to press shift and click on them again and when everything here is selected i need to make sure that they are all black now they will work as a single graphic so that is fine now i am going to select this one this wings here so here is a little this can be a little confusing so you have to pay attention here i am going to select this one and then copy so if i select this body part go inside that and press ctrl f here so ctrl f will place a copy there make sure to merge unite and merge unite will make it look like this let's just make it black so that we can see what is going on here so you can see this is hiding the part of the body that is perfectly fine but there is a little problem and that is in this area the hand should be visible also here too so how to fix that now we have a solid shape here if i move if i try to move it you can see that is the solid shape and then we have to come here in the surface layer then copy this one Control c to copy now select this body part go to transparency and then press Control f here so i have two shapes here one is this red one another one is the black one if you can see here this is the red one this is the black one and this is the skull part that we pasted so we have to select this two this red part and black part and then you have to click on this not trim option in this divide option so divide will make it it will divide everything that we placed here so i am going to right click and ungroup them so once they're ungrouped, you can see there are many different parts here. So anyway, so we don't need them all. We only need this part to be removed. And if you remove that, you can see now the hand part is visible from there. And that is what we wanted. And of course, if you want, you can simply make it a little bit more precise. But that's not the thing we were going to do now. So this is how it, it is working here but as you can see here in this part we have both red and both both black shapes so that's not what you want so we have to press ctrl a that will select everything that is here and then make sure they are in black and once they are in black we can simply unite them so uniting them will make them one single graphic and that will be easier for illustrator to handle so this is how it is looking click here so as you can see this part is looking good so this is the where it is right now we can keep it like this or we can we can add some more twist to our design and that is i am going to select this part of the skeleton and then let's bring a copy here so whatever we placed inside that let's remove it so here i am going to delete everything that of that body part except this part i will keep that hand part this is going to be a high level editing work so something like that so that is fine now i am going to select this one then i am going to erase this part so make sure that you are not erasing like this you are erasing by keeping a black copy of the hand that is there so i only need this part to be there so i should have done this earlier but i didn't realize that then and then i realized that i can do this too so that is fine now here i am going to erase this part of the graphic and then removing this one so this is going to be a long tutorial and of course you will learn many things i hope so so this is how it is looking now i have this shape here and then um, i need to cut this one let's control x to cut it now i am going to place it in this way so as you can see it is going to fit in this area that is fine and then it will maybe i can just make it a little bit smaller okay so smaller making it smaller will make it this part smaller which will not fit so for fixing that problem we need to 
do it in another way and that is i am going to select this part by my direct selection tool and then make it shorter so as you can see this is how it is looking don't worry about this area that is fine so in this area i am going to okay so maybe i am going to make this one smaller too something like this where it is not distorting the shape that is fine okay so maybe i will not need this part so i'm going to just place it here in this position where it will be just below the behind the hand part of my this motorcycle graphic so that will perfectly fit there okay so it is going to look like that in that position then i'm going to make it reflect here then i'm going to select this one so that part is looking good so i need to make sure that they are in a good position let's group them and then select this one then make it the key object and try to arrange it in the center position you can see a little movement there but it is working so from here i am going to select this part and then if i double click on this skeleton part and as you can see we placed something inside this group them so if i double click one more time i will be inside this group and if i paste anything here control f whatever we placed inside the them that will be already applied to this shape so as you can see that part is perfectly matching with my skeleton part here so it is going to look kind of that he is holding this one so i don't need this part of the hand anymore so that is how it is going to look right now now this is the first step of the design the making the graphic here so we have the final graphic here we have our centerpiece made now we need to play around with our text so some take drugs some drink bottles so i solved my problem now for this kind of text or design we need to use some badass kind of font we need to use some really bold looking and strong looking fonts so for this one this throttles is going to be the main text here main focus text here so i am going to use a western font that is called texas tango now i am using a personal use version of it i don't have the license for it but that's fine you can i am not going to sell that font so this is the part now i need to make a relation so i am going to use another font here which will be the biker free biker louisiana biker and then national biker okay so these are all the biker fonts i have and it is helping me finding the good ones so some tech drugs that is fine maybe i will change that font i'll use this font so this is a little bit more like the theme i want here so that is fine or maybe just let's go back to the original one so that is fine now this is the variation i will make so i am going to make this one sorry not that font in this font and then i solve my problem so this one should be in this font this one should be in this font by twisting okay so this is going to work like this i am going to use this two font one by one so if you can see there is a problem in this oh that is not a problem that is the effect so if i try to make it all caps that will fix so if you want to keep this you can keep but i am in this case i am i don't need that so i'm going to make it all caps so that is fine now i need to make place for my text so some do some take drugs i'm going to place this one and in this kind of design i need to make sure that i am not going outside of a printing area so i am going to make a rectangle which will be 500 into 600 dimension so i am going to make it maybe a little bigger but the ratio will be same let's make it let's unite this sorry let's lock this one but before that send it to back control x control b now lock it control one is my shortcut for locking 
you have to make your own shortcut so this is how it is going to look right now and in my opinion i am not going to use these wings right now but let's keep it for now so some tech drugs i am going to use that one there some drink bottles so this is a longer text i am going to place this text in long area and what is a long area so let me show you if i make a ellipse here which is going to be the path for my text so it is going to look like this i am going to make a little overlapping with the head there that will make it look cool so this is the way my ellipse is right now i don't need it in this much bigger size and then i am going to create a offset path for my that ellipse maybe in this much size and then another offset path of the same size so this is my three ellipse here i am going to cut this text select this middle one go to type on a path tool and then click here then press ctrl v so ctrl v will place that here now i need to go to type type on a path type on a path options change the baseline to center click ok or i can simply just use my shortcut which is ctrl alt t so that is the my, that is my shortcut for type on a path option so setting a custom shortcut is always good so i am going to use it in this way but this is fitting this is touching my edge of the ellipse i don't need that so i am going to make it this much bigger in size and then i will increase the space between the text so that will give me a look like it is fitting in there so this is how it is looking maybe i need to make it a little bigger in size that is fine okay so some take drugs i'm going to make this one kind of in this area some drink bottles so in this area i will add something else maybe i will make it a little bigger in size or let's not make it bigger so here everything i am i'm going to just make anything a key object then i'm going to align it so this is how it is looking i'm going to first of all i'm going to select this three make it a group select this one okay maybe not that in this area and then create an offset path so not 20 pixel offset path it is it, there is a tons of small details in the design so it can take some time to okay create the offset path so i'm going to create an offset path kind of four to five pixel and that is fine let's make it round for now and if you can see five pixel is also being a bit bigger so let's make it three pixel for now so this depend on how much bigger area you are working or the size of the graphics you are working if you are working in a smaller area or a bigger area it will change so i need to select this group open transparency for it then press ctrl f here so here i am going to merge unite so merge unite will make it one single shape and that will hide some part of it from here so that is fine don't worry about it now for this area it is looking kind of ugly here so what i can do here is i am going to so some take drugs some do bottles i solve my problems so i am going to use this one okay so here is a little trick i'm going to apply to this design i'm going to make this smaller or a little bit smaller maybe that is good let's try to make it the same offset path again now select this group and inside here select ctrl a press ctrl a to delete everything select everything and delete then press ctrl f again then merge unite so merge unite will make it one single shape again and this is how it is looking right now so here on this text here i am going to select this one ctrl c ctrl f that means copy paste in front i am going to change the direction here in this side so in this one i am going to i solve my problems so this is how it is going to look right now and i get another area for placing my text so i need to place that i solve my text here so for doing that i am going to create a oval shape here just like this one that is 
good in my opinion but let's try to so i am selecting this shape and then press i for eyedropper and if i click on this one it is going to pick that size of the stroke there and in this size that is good so maybe i can just make it a little smaller okay so not smaller i want to cover this part of the bike there so i am going to select this one then i am going to create another copy of that just a little bit smaller than the original one then press ctrl f sorry shift x shift x will make it fill color so one is in fill color and another one is in a stroke mode so whichever one is in a stroke i am going to copy that one then select this shape this original shape open transparency and press ctrl f here so ctrl f will place that design here but i don't need this in a stroke mode as you can see the part of the bike is visible from here so let's press shift x here so shift x will make it fill color and that fill color will hide everything that is looking like this but don't worry i need to make a bigger shape than that one just like this one then <coughs> cut it sorry not cut it just copy this one i have to keep on here then on this shape i am going to paste press ctrl f so that will paste a copy of that shape here also so you can see i have this shape right now created so let's break it i solve so this text is really not important this is nothing so i just have a area here let's place it here so i am going to select this one ctrl x to cut select this shape ctrl b to paste in back now this shape i am going to cut it now select this one open transparency press ctrl f here so it is looking like this and it is going to be a little smaller so if you can make it bigger you can try that so this is how it is looking right now and that is fine some take drugs some do bottles i solved my problem so what is the rest text by twisting so this is the another part here and then this one is going to be the main text so that is fine now this part is looking good that part is also good so let's try to make it let's try to make it bigger so that it it fits in the area we have right now so this is how it is looking right now don't worry about other element just i need to worry about this center piece so i am going to make it a little bigger because that is the area it is going to take so i am going to make this outline here and let's try to make this bigger so this part needs to be as big as possible so this is how it is looking right now maybe i need to fix here a little bit so increasing the gaps here that will look better so this is how it is looking that's fine so this is the main area of my this graphic the this design is going to be i need ruler to place here and then another ruler here to place in the edge of it let let's lock the guides now this is the main wide area so this part needs to be a little smaller and if i make it smaller it will give me some more space to work with so this text is important here by twisting so i'm going to keep it there and then some take drugs i'm going to make this okay let's not make it that is not important text so let's not make it that much bigger okay so that part is looking good okay so for this one here i want to keep my this graphic as big as possible because i spent lots of time to creating this and this is the main thing that will represent my design so i want to keep it big so for this area i'm going to take a rectangle here so just similar to the text a little bit bigger and then i'm going to select that stroke size and then i'm going to select this two mark sorry center them and then group it so once they are in group i'm going to add effect then wrap and then arc maybe 
so okay not arc maybe arch so arch will look good so that is fine now let's make it a little bring it a little down here so this is how it is going to look and then i am going to select this one here this outer ellipse here so i am going to select it copy and now here i am going to select this group let's expand the appearance and go to by here go to object and expand appearance i just use a shortcut so i'm going to open transparency for it and then press ctrl f here so ctrl f will place my this stroke here you can see this is in a stroke mode or you can see here this is in a stroke i need to make it fill so shift x will make it fill and then i need a bigger offset path than the original shape so that is fine so you can see this is how it is going to look right now or maybe just i can make it a little bit okay let's not make it bigger than that so that is fine or it's a little bit bigger that is that won't hurt so this is how it is looking right now and that is fine so this is going to be the area of my design so i need to make a little bit smaller make this part a little bit smaller right click and then so right click on this log icon this guide icon and then unlock guides so that i can unlock it and move it it is going to look like this don't worry about this area that will look good so this one here i am going to place another box around it so again in similar style so similar stroke size so that i can so everything remains in same size that is that's it so i need to make it connecting with my that shape here so that is fine now if i select this one inside that i will find this okay so that is not okay let's copy this one and then select this group open transparency and then press ctrl f here so ctrl f will make it look like this that is way bigger but we can simply make it smaller and then keep a little stroke like this so in my opinion that is looking good so this is how it is going to be right now and then let's bring it closer so this is how my design is looking right now if i select and then if you need to change the text you can always keep a copy so that if there is any spelling mistake or anything you can fix that later so once the placement is good i am going to expand everything from here so i need to select everything i am using shortcut but you have to go to object then expand so that is fine now once it is expanded i need to make sure it is a group everything is a group so that i can make it a little bigger in size and this is how it is going to fit in the design so that is fine now this is going to be the once it is expanded i need to make sure this is that becomes the wide of the design that is fine now this one here i need to make it a little bit bigger sorry smaller so i am not going to let that go outside of my that area so this is fine now this area i am going to make it keep it a little smaller in size that is fine so as this is a design for our this one sorry this is a design for bikers so we can use some more biking elements here if you want so just for fixing those areas just for fixing the area that we have i'm going to okay let's just bring this to here i'm going to select them and make it make them smaller that is fine so one i will place here because i have a empty space here i can fix it like this then maybe i will just select this two so i am aligning it with that option so that it becomes same size wide that is good let's okay so sorry i made a copy there that's not what i wanted anyway so this is how it is looking let's group it i'm going to select this one then align in the center position so that is fine now this area is looking like kind of empty here so we need to fix that and for fixing that there is a area like this which is also need to fix so i am going to create a line here just a simple line make it a stroke 
now i am going to apply this effect but maybe a smaller size smaller in size that is good let's make a copy here and then press ctrl d to duplicate it couple of times so that is good let's make it smaller a little bit so it is it it needs to look like this that is fine let's expand everything and then make it a group and then go to your brush panel and create an art brush so this is how it is looking the art brush is created here i'm going to take my ellipse tool again one more time and i need to create an ellipse here just create something like that don't worry maybe a bit bigger in a stroke then cut it so i need to align that with my this ellipse so i need to select this one press ctrl f and then press shift and click on this one so you can see this is selected now if i click on this one again that will become the key object and i need i need to align my ellipse with the center position of it so that is fine now here i am going to make it a little bit is bigger in size so that it comes kind of in this center position of that two ellipse so that is fine now here i need to create some anchor points so you can do that simply by adding anchor point or you can press c on your keyboard you can see here and then click on any of this anchor point it will cut our ellipse into a open path and if i press shift e that is for eraser i can simply erase this part so that part is good and then maybe this part so it is going to give us this option here and if i select any of it i can select this one i can select this one just click on this brush option it is going to paste like that then you can increase the stroke size but not two pixel maybe 1.5 will work here so you can see this is how it is looking and then if i select this one i can simply click on that one with eyedropper and then make it same size as that one so this is how it is looking don't worry i just need to select these two expand them cut them and then if i select this one you will see i have placed something inside the transparency so if i double click one more time to come inside this group where i can select each and every object individually and here if i press ctrl f if i press ctrl f that will paste my that effect and as you can see here that whatever we applied to this group that is already being applied to our new brush so that is fine so this is how it is going to look for that area and from here i need to do some more stuffs like that so i am going to select i am going to create another stroke here this time i will make it this option here and then with this option being made i am going to press r r is for rotate tool if i press alt and click on this point this point it will give me this pop-up box and then from here i need to change the angle kind of 10 pixel you can make it 5 pixel 10 pixel whatever you want then press copy and once you press press copy it will give you a copy and then if you keep pressing ctrl d it will continue to give you a copy in that exactly 10, 10 degree different from the original one so that is fine now this one i am going to select make it a bit smaller in size that is fine let's expand everything so that it becomes shape Ctrl C, Ctrl F, that means copy paste in front. Maybe I can, I want a middle one too. So if I just selected 5 degree, that would work. Now this is how it is looking. Let's group it. So I need this one. Let's cut it. Now I am going to select that shape here. So where I can select this object individually and press Ctrl V. Now I am going to select this one and then click on that again. That will become the key object and that will help me align my this shape here so i want to make it bigger in size so that is fine and as you can see whatever we place that is being applied to our this graphic but there is a problem so we need to fix that so the problem is as you can see it is it should be visible from here so this is the object this is the original shape the biker and the skeleton let's copy this one then if i select this one whatever i placed inside them i will find it here in transparency make sure to unite them and then press ctrl f again here so it will place it will paste my that shape that we just copied select ctrl press ctrl a to select everything then click on this divide again and divide will divide them in a small pieces so i need to simply just ungroup it 
so if i ungroup it i can simply select these small parts of it and then delete them just like we did before so this is how it is looking and maybe for this area i am going to just make sure that so this is the main shape the skeleton and the biker shape i need to create that offset path so not in 5 pixel sorry 9 pixel maybe we did for 2 or 3 pixel so let's do 3 pixel for now maybe 4 pixel <coughs> so that is fine cut it now i need to select this shape here and inside that i am going to press ctrl f so ctrl f will give me this look as you can see this is giving me this extra option here so that is fine let's select everything here and then unite so not merge unite only unite merge unite will fill these areas too but i don't need one that so only unite so this is how it is looking right now and for this area i want to just add some more shapes just some random shapes nothing to worry about so i have this curve here let's try to add something that have some curves okay so this is just to fill that area nothing important <laughs> no meaning of it so something like this will work but it is not working for this area okay so it will work if i bring that a bit up so that is fine now for this one here i am going to create something similar okay so i need to select this two make them a group then i can simply align it with the center position of it that is fine so maybe this area is not looking very good so i need to bring that a little close to this ruler part or the guide part and something like this that is fine and for this area i am going to just make a shape here like this and it is in a stroke mode of course then i am going to change the stroke to this one okay so it is in the opposite direction you can simply click on this flip along it is going to flip let's expand it and then bring some copies of it just to make it look like this and that is fine let's group it i am going to place it here in this direction I need to make sure that it is aligning with that shape here. Okay, so this is how it is looking. Now that is fine. Let's expand everything. Let's delete everything that is not necessary. So it is going to look like, so there is a little problem here as you can see. And that we can fix by just fixing these corners. So maybe I will get an anchor point from here. To fix that then another anchor point from here so that is good okay so this is how our design is looking right now some take drugs some drink bottles so i solve my problems by twisting okay so this is the first step of this design and in the next one i'm going to show you how to colorize this design so i hope it will help you guys and if it, this kind of design is helping you are learning something new from this one let me know in the comment section i will try to make some more videos like this so that's it for today's video i hope it was helpful see you in the next guys next one guys have a great time